A Comptroller and Auditor General of India or CAG report presented in the Parliament on Monday stated that the Department of Finance Services or DFS gave 8,800 crore rupees to State Bank of India without the lender asking for such funds. The CAG report stated that the funds given in financial year 2018 was part of a recapitalization exercise. The government recapitalizes public sector banks or PSBs for credit growth, meeting requirement for regulatory capital, equipping better performing lenders placed under Reserve Bank of India's prompt corrective action framework to come out of it and meeting capital requirements on account of allegation. According to report, the department under the finance ministry did not conduct an assessment of the capital requirement, which is its own standard practice before recapitalization. The report said that DFS infused 8,800 crore into SBI in 2017-18 for credit growth, considering it the largest PSB in the country even though there was no demand. DFS did not conduct assessment of capital requirement as per its own standard practice before recapitalization. DFS also considered a cushion over and above the norm prescribed by the RBI while recapitalizing PSBs. The CAG report stated that RBI had already prescribed enhanced capital requirement of additional 1% on Indian banks, resulting in an excess infusion of 7,781.81 crore rupees. It also said that the department infused 831 crore rupees into the Bank of Maharashtra in 2019-20 against the bank's demand of 798 crore rupees to avoid surrender of funds worth 33 crore rupees. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.